up y'all <clears throat> i'm just at home recovering from a little injury so i'm kind of bored and uh, i thought it'd be a perfect time to do a review and trick on one of the newer tricks you guys might have heard of it's called candy by chris mayhew okay i'm gonna perform it show you guys what it's like and then i'll just give you a little bit of review about it what i think about it uh, whether I recommend it, pros and cons, and whatnot, okay? So, candy is a card at any number kind of plot. It's a little bit different, but it's very simple and direct. And I'll show you how it looks like. So, you walk up to a spectator. You can ask him, honestly, to cut the cards anywhere they want. Doesn't matter. It's completely random. And now, you want them to think of a random number not related to them, like their favorite number, their birthday just random everything has to be random so we're gonna use this dice and we're gonna roll a two and a five so the number is gonna be 25 okay and now um, you tell a spectator you would have them think of a card first of all look every card is honestly different okay and you would honestly have them think of any card but by having them think of a card they might choose a very common card like the Ace of Spades or Queen of Hearts or their favorite card. So it wouldn't be very random. And they might also think that I know what the 25th card down is, even though that's impossible because they cut the cards anywhere they want it, that I might influence you to pick the 25th card. So given all this, we're going to create a card. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay? We're going to create a card with this, okay? And I'm just going to toss it, and we're going to place it right where it landed, about there. Okay, they can honestly place it anywhere, anywhere they want along here. So remember, the number is 25, okay? 25, and they've placed the card here, okay? So we'll just upjog the two cards they placed it beside. And I want you to know they could have put it here, here. Honestly, they could have put the cards anywhere they wanted to. But they placed the card between those two cards right there. Okay? And now you can have the cards, have the spectator switch the cards around or turn this around. It honestly doesn't matter. And when they're finally satisfied, you show them what the two cards are. Eight and Jack. And we have now created a card. The value being an eight, the suit being a clubs. So we've created the eight of clubs, completely random, cut the cards randomly, place it anywhere they wanted. They could have switched these around, switched that around, the eight of clubs. And now, I'll tell them, we randomly create a card, you randomly picked a number, which was 25. So if the 25th card down is the eight of clubs, that would be absolutely incredible, wouldn't it? And it would be. So we'll count down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. If this was the 8 of clubs, that would be absolutely crazy, wouldn't it? And it is the 8 of clubs. If they had said 24, it would have been the five of diamonds okay so very different very different um okay guys so you see how simple it is i honestly love this trick um first of all it's very simple very direct uh any number honestly between one and 50 can be chosen you choose one and 50 because you take two cards out so 52 minus 2 50 and yeah honestly any card can be created at any number okay no restrictions I'm not even joking if you want to card out position one it will be at position one if you want it at 50 it will be at 50 okay so yeah it's very simple very direct it's um it's a sort of a different kind of style for card at any number but what I like about it is um it honestly uses a normal deck the reset is pretty much instant, um, depending on how you handle it. Maybe the reset will be like 5 to 10 seconds, that's it. Uh, you, all the cards can be shown, okay? It's not um, not anything hidden. 
They're honestly, all the 52 cards are there. Nothing added or taken away except uh, this create a card card. <coughs> but um, I don't think it's going to give it away, but I'm going to tell you guys <coughs> uh, the deck is stacked. And um, when you purchase the trick, you're going to learn this uh, particular stack. And honestly, for this trick goes for like 10 bucks at Magic King. I mean, 10 bucks is worth the stack alone because you can do so many other plots with it. And um, yeah, I'm sure you guys know what, if you did a little bit of research before, you probably could figure out what the stack is. But uh, having done this, you can cut the cards anywhere you want and you can do the trick. So honestly, would I recommend it? I would recommend it. It's very straightforward and direct. I mean, it's only 10 bucks. It can be any card, any number. And um, you can have the spectators handle the card. They can cut it. It's very open, very direct. And yeah. Would I look into it more? No, I would not. Honestly, grab this for 10 bucks. You can't go wrong with it. You're going to be performing a miracle. It's not really like an oh my god type of trick, but you know, if you're into like sort of the mentalism and sort of like experiment type kind of tricks, this is perfect. I've shown many people so far. Um, <clears throat> no one has figured it out, okay? I've shown people multiple times. <clears throat> it's the kind of trick where you can show someone multiple times and honestly, they will not figure it out. Okay, even though they know what to look for. Reason being is because um, they can handle the cards freely. They choose random stuff. They can deal the cards out. And it's always a different card and it's always a different number. So, yeah, guys, look into it. Check it out. It's at Vanishing Inc. Chris Mayhew called Candy. And, yeah, I hope you guys like it. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. All right? Cheers, guys.